The class of 2021 may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning and welcome to the Deerfield Beach High School class of 2021 commencement ceremony. Graduation. Graduation commencement is both a joyous and solemn event. For this reason, we ask that you follow the rules of etiquette to ensure that your excitement doesn't prevent others from hearing or enjoying the ceremony. Cell phones are to be switched to silent mode or turned off. Do not speak on a cell phone or carry on a conversation during the ceremony. When taking pictures, be mindful to not interfere with other attendees or detract attention away from the graduates. Please remain in your seats throughout the entire program. We also ask that you hold your applause and celebrations until all graduates have received their diplomas so that the families of each graduate may have the honor of hearing his or her name called. A picture will be taken by a professional photographer or every graduate and will be available for purchase. Please do not leave your seat to take pictures. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. Will the audience please stand for the presentation of colors by our Marine Corps Junior ROTC. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, the singing of the National Anthem, and remain standing until the flags have exited. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Stars. 
Please be seated. Dear Full Beach High families and friends, we would like to take this time to remember two students from our senior class who are no longer with us, Alexis Jane Marion and Zamora Prementor. At this time, please join me for a moment of silence. Thank you. Joining us today are the families of Alexis Jane Marion and Zamora Prementor. Thank you for sharing in this ceremony with us today. At this time, we will review a video from Broward School Superintendent Robert Runsey. You are about to join a very special group. You are about to become a graduate of Broward County Public Schools. Your past school year has been historic. Your schools closed and opened, and you learned wherever Wi-Fi was the strongest. You spent days behind masks through the coronavirus pandemic. You lived through racial and political turmoil that has divided communities. Through a severe economic downturn and job losses and an acrimonious presidential election. But the class of 2021 adapted and persevered through all of this and more. You worked hard. You continued to learn and achieve. You succeeded. You will write the next chapter in the history books. Given what I know about you, I believe the chapter will be full of stories of courage, grace, and hope that will fuel a stronger humanity. There's a story I want to share with you that I hope will help you put life's challenges in perspective and inspire you to make the most of the gift of life that you have been given. A teacher passed out a writing exercise to her students. It consisted of only a black dot in the center of a piece of white paper. She asked the students to write a few sentences to describe what they saw. Once everyone was finished, she collected the pages and started reading the writings to the class. They all wrote about the black dot, its size and its position on the page. Some even got creative and described it as a portal to the universe. Regardless, all the comments were about the black dot. What was interesting is that no one wrote about the white part of the paper, that which is the foundation for the whole. Think about it. If there was not an entire field of white space, that black dot would never even be seen. What's the message here? You have so much to celebrate in life if you see the whole picture. The dark spots are very small when compared to everything we have in our lives, but they are the ones that occupy and pollute our mind. Don't focus on the dark spots, the disappointments, the anxious thoughts, the bad news, the sensational headlines, the social media feeds. Because when you do, you are taking your foundational good for granted, so much so that you forget to notice the greater blessings in your life. Take your eyes off the dot size frustrations 
and focus on the bigger and brighter part of your life. As you graduate, think about what is important to you, what you care about, what you want to prioritize, and where you may be able to make the greatest impact after high school. Find your own path to be successful. Our life is a gift. We will always have reasons to celebrate. Nature renewing itself daily on the planet we call home, the friends and family around us, music and art that we enjoy, rainbows and sunsets, our teachers, and your high school graduation. Enjoy each one of your blessings and each moment that life gives you. Congratulations to our amazing class of 2021 graduates. I am proud of you. You've overcome challenges and you've succeeded in becoming a graduate. I will always remember you. I love you and pray that your life's journey will lead you to true joy and happiness. Congratulations. Thank you, Mr. Runcy. Our senior class vice president, Mashonda Augustine, will now introduce our principal. Good morning. My name is Mashonda Augustine, and I am your class vice president. It brings me a great pleasure to introduce someone who has been a leader and a friend to class of 2021. Every morning when he stands in front of the media center, he has a smile and encouraging words for all students. When we needed him, we knew that his door was always open. He is none other than our principal, Mr. John Marlowe. Thank you, Mashanda, for those kind words. It brings me great pleasure to introduce our following guests. Our at-large board member, who's been a great friend over the years to Deerfield Beach and the school, Ms. Donna Korn. Our Director of Exceptional Student Learning, Ms. Simone Hollingsworth. Our School Performance and Accountability Director, Mr. Todd LaPace. I would also like to acknowledge our District Due Commissioner for Deerfield Beach, Mr. Ben Preston. Our Assistant Principal, Ms. Mitterland DeLance. Our Assistant Principal, Ms. Chelsea Deese. Our other Assistant Principal, Ms. Gwen Smith. And our Behavior Specialist, Ms. Michelle Scott. Our Guidance Director behind us, Ms. Nancy Carter. And Ms. Margaret Williamson, Guidance Counselor. Class of 2021, in just a few minutes, you will be honored as high school graduates. None of us could have predicted the global pandemic that impacted your senior year. But despite unimaginable obstacles, you persevere to be sitting here today. Instead of giving up, you navigated virtual learning and completed your coursework. Your ability to tackle this new format has inspired everyone. Every class is unique, and what makes this class 2021 stand out is your sense of justice and selflessness. You've consistently advocated for needs of your fellow classmates, and you've worked as a team to arrive to this moment. This graduating class has truly surpassed all of our expectations. As you know, there were many people supporting you in this endeavor. I encourage you to acknowledge the people in your life who have been there for you. If we've learned nothing, or if we learn anything this year, it is that none of us are alone in this journey. Let's now take a moment and applaud your parents and loved ones. <laughs> Graduates, as ninth graders, you were welcomed to high school by our faculty and staff and provided support not only in the classroom, 
but as coaches, sponsors, and mentors to many. Teachers and staff, your commitment to education is second to none. Please stand and be recognized by the class of 2021. Up until this point, your lives as students were relatively similar. You progressed through childhood, adolescence, and your teens learning and developing skills you needed to move forward. But today marks a turning point when you will each travel into your unique futures. There is so much about what you've accomplished that you should be proud. But what is really exciting is what lies ahead. Many of you are answering our nation's call. If, you're, if, you, if you joined a branch of the military, please know that we are tremendously proud of you. Our academic, athletic, and ROTC scholarships have exceeded millions of dollars toward your futures. Deerfield Beach High's very own Butler Scholarship has awarded a record amount of half a million dollars to our graduates. These scholarships will enable many of you to go to institutions throughout the country such as Columbia, the Naval Academy, Northwestern, Ohio State, Berkeley, and Howard University. Many more will be attending our Florida public and private universities. For those of you who will be starting your professional lives right away, I know that you will serve your communities well and make a positive impact in your chosen careers. Regardless of which direction you take, I am confident you will all proudly represent your Deerfield Beach High roots. Despite limitations, our fine arts programs continued making music, creating visual art, and performing in ways that challenges students' creative ambitions. Our unique athletic season had high points when our football team represented our school in the Tri-County Championship game. Other notable achievements took place in the areas of wrestling, track, basketball, and all of the other sports that continue despite the limitations of social distancing. Our magnet programs of International Baccalaureate, Communications and Broadcasting, and the Urban Teacher Academy continue to excel, preparing students for the many challenges in their chosen careers. This year was not easy. Some of you faced illness amongst your families and yourselves. Your trials of social isolation and a lack of community interaction have made you stronger because you've gotten through it. Do not underestimate the ability to withstand hardships as part of your education. I know this pandemic has changed the way you view the world, but as a leader of tomorrow, I believe that you will be inspired to create positive change. In the words of the late politician and civil rights leader, John Lewis, you are the light. Never let anyone, any person, or any force Dampen, dim, or diminish your light. Rest assured, no one will ever forget the class of 2021. Go forward and continue to inspire resilience, optimism, and buck pride. Thank you. At this time, I would now like to ask our guidance director, Ms. Nancy Carter, to present our honor graduates. It is my pleasure to present to you the honor graduates of the class of 2021. There are three different cores symbolizing varying levels of academic achievement. It is indeed an accomplishment to graduate with a 3.75 or better cumulative grade point average. The graduates wearing gold cords have earned this privilege. Will the gold cord honors recipients please stand? Thank you. The graduates wearing gold and maroon cords have achieved high honors by being in the top 5% of their senior class. 
Will the gold and maroon high honors recipients please stand? Thank you. The graduates wearing gold and white cords have achieved the highest honors by being in the top 2% of their senior class. Will the gold and white highest honors recipients please stand? Another group of students has earned a special honor. These are the silver cord recipients. These students have earned the right to wear a silver cord by performing 250 or more hours of service to our community. Certainly an even greater accomplishment given the constraints during the past 15 months. Will the silver cord recipients please stand? Thank you. Many other students have other cords or medallions. These students have earned the right to wear them because of their service to specific organizations important to our school's life. Please check your program to learn what each signifies. I'm sure you are aware that because of the hard work and dedication of your class officers, this senior class is one of the best classes of Deerfield Beach High School. I would, <laughs> I would like to introduce your officers from the class of 2021. Please stand as you are introduced. Class President, Jacorian Farley. <laughs> Vice President, Mashanda Augustin. <laughs> Secretary, Jude Land Osiris. Treasurer, Kashmala Swati. <laughs> Historian, Arion Holt. <laughs> Parliamentarian, Amaria Reed. <laughs> Representative, Avanti Aguilar. <laughs> and Spirit, Coordinator Shade Beeks. It is a prestigious honor to recognize the families of the class of 2021's valedictorian and salutatorian. This year's representatives have GPAs of 5.55 and 5.53, respectively. At this time, I want to recognize the family of our salutatorian, his father, Mr. Patel, and his aunt, Mrs. Patel. Would you please stand to be recognized? Thank you. We are also joined by the parents of our valedictorian, Mr. and Mrs. Golem. Would you also stand to be recognized? We continue our tradition at Deerfield Beach High School of honoring our valedictorian and salutatorian with personal introductions from teachers selected by these students. Ms. Christina Cuevas from our English department will introduce this year's salutatorian. Mr. Robert Snow from our math department will introduce this year's valedictorian. Ms. Cuevas.
It is my pleasure to introduce Malav Patel. This is an extraordinary young man. Two years ago, we had a foreign exchange student. I checked in with the boy, asking of him if he'd made any friends yet. And he said, oh yes, Malav talks to me. Another time, I was mentoring middle school teacher, and I brought samples of students' work. These were interactive journals where students took notes. She saw Malav's notebook and said, I don't know who this kid is, but I love him. Every time I took him to a debate tournament, I received compliments from other coaches and judges about his poise and sportsmanship. Over the past four years as his teacher, this type of thing happened a lot. Malav has tremendous reserves of energy for learning new things. His ego never stops him from being open-minded and receptive to new opportunities. Last year, when he experienced personal loss and the collective stress of the pandemic, he continued to excel as a student. He got a job at LA Fitness and exercised regularly. And he became a founding member of our Mind Body Association to facilitate wellness to his peers. His approach to life is humbling and something we should all aspire to. This fall, Malav will major in finance, business, and law, the University of Florida. I do not know in what corner of the world this young man will settle, but wherever he ends up, it will be a better place for having him. It is my honor to introduce you to our salutatorian, Malav Patel. Today is a good day. And when I think about this being it, our last moment before graduation, I feel extremely grateful. My gratitude is pretty overwhelming, so I think it will be best expressed in the form of a thank you letter. When something good happens to me, I tend to reflect on the people that made me who I am today and the challenges I had to overcome to reach this point. Dear teachers and staff, first and foremost, I would like to thank everyone for organizing this milestone graduation ceremony and supporting me throughout my time in high school. Six months ago, we didn't know we would have an opportunity to walk across the stage, but here we are. The challenges brought upon by my teachers, as well as the endless support to get where I wanted to go, is why I am standing here today. Today, June 9th, 2021, we close an important chapter in our lives and begin the next. Yet, starting this new chapter for me does not mean forgetting the context of my past. While procrastination, assessments, and exams knocked me down, Mrs. Cuevas's fate in me, Ms. Beattie's encouragement, and Mr. Smith's uplifting humor brought me right back up. And also Coach Johnson, who gave me the opportunity to try something I sucked at. I can now hit a golf ball. Thank you. Dear friends and classmates, I would like to give a shout out to each and every one of you who never shied away from lending me a shoulder when I needed it the most. We have created many memories, some stressful and some illuminating. For those of you who sat in front of me during tests, I apologize for frantically shaking my leg. For those of you who accepted the boy from Coral Springs and welcomed me into your lives, I will never forget you. And for all of you in front of me, in, in front of me here today, congratulations. 
We have in fact reached the mountaintop. And if I had to do it all over again, there's nobody else I would want by my side. Thank you. Dear family, lastly, but most importantly, I would like to thank my family. To my aunts and uncles and grandparents and cousins at home, I did it. Here with me today is my dad, who sacrificed everything to give me a life full of opportunities, and my aunt, who is always by my side. Dad, you came to a new country, learned a new language, worked the long hours, and built a new life to put me in a place to succeed. And what would I be without my late mom, who I know is watching down on me with that beautiful smile? Hey, look, Ma, I made it. In closing, while I look out, I see many faces. Some of us know each other quite well, and others merely by our initials from a team's meeting. But there is one thing I see in the face of every graduate today, and that is the ability to overcome challenges. Resilience flows through each and every one of us, and I would like for today to be the day where we look back and say, man, we just did that. Class of 2021, these last few lines are dedicated to welcoming us into this new chapter. Now, we will continue to challenge ourselves, persevere, and take the world by storm. We will continue to be caring and thoughtful individuals, challenging ourselves to be great. And I wish to leave everyone with these final words from the iconic Dr. Seuss. Don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. Thank you, and I look forward to when our paths cross again. Sincerely, Malu. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Rob Snow, and I'm so pleased to be with you this morning and have the chance to introduce the class of 2021 valedictorian. She has been one of the main proponents of Mu Alpha Theta, the Math Honor Society, for four years, and is a true standout in the organization. She has a great understanding of her role and how the younger members look up to her through her efforts and her actions. Besides that, she is intelligent, well-spoken, and motivated. The trait that separates the valedictorian from the majority of her classmates is her desire to learn for learning itself, to grow in all areas, to become a better student and a better person. She would like to thank her brother Brelby for helping her to achieve everything she has done so far and for someone to always look up to, to strive for the next goal in her life. This fall, she will attend Columbia University, majoring in computer science and pre-med. It is my pleasure to introduce the class of 2020 valedictorian, Ashmita Golem. Good morning, everyone. I would like to thank my father, Ahia, my mother, Oksana, my brother, Bralby, and my sister, Joytha. I'd also like to give a special shout out to our close family friend, Benji. I wouldn't be here today without them. For those of you who watched The Lion King on VHS, this might be nostalgic. In the movie, The Lion King, when Mufasa dies, suddenly, Scar, the hyenas, they all become very brave. I think it's symbolic in real life that when a lion falls, suddenly the sheep, the hyenas, they all crawl out from the shadows. Now they're entitled, bold, talking big. And in the movie, they let Simba go, forgetting that even a young, a young lion is still a lion. 
So what happens at the end of the movie is Scar attacks his own brother's Mufasa's wife. And suddenly, in the distance, he hears a roar. He trembles like a coward as he says, Mufasa, brother, is that you? Only when Simba avenges and reclaims his throne as king of the Pride Lands, does Scar realize the gravity of what he has done. I guess what I'm telling you today is to be a true lion out there in the world. What does that mean? Lions know they're in their right. They're the light. So if you're pursuing good things, don't be worried because God's blessing and support is on you. You have nothing to fear because you're not doing anything wrong. You may find yourself like Ruby Bridges. After Brown versus the Board of Education and its segregation, she was the first black kid to attend and thereby desegregate the all-white William France Elementary School. You may remember the famous photo of U.S. Marshals escorting Bridges to and from school. I'm sure at 66 years old, she must have felt alone and scared. Imagine a time where even your own governor would stand at the door and not let you enter the building, where parents or teachers are yelling, screaming, and spitting at you. I'm sure at that time, she must have felt like going to an all-white school was looking for trouble. However, she was brave because she had to be. And because she was pursuing a noble cause, people eventually came to support her. As a brown girl today, I'm gonna share my story. When I was in HL calculus, I'd ask questions, people would get on my case. They say things like, you're only doing this to please your parents, or if I said I wanted to be a doctor, they'd ask why, because your mom and dad said so. I was treated as though I had no free will. People will project their own prejudices and insecurities onto you. Remember this as you break generational stereotypes and boundaries. On behalf of Deerfield BC High School, I want to tell every individual here, we believe in you. We have faith in you. Have faith in yourself. Remember the person that you are. Remember the deeds you've performed, the labors you've overcome. We are the legend and are the truth behind the legend of our parents, our grandparents, and their ancestors before them. They live in us. Let's make them proud. Now tell me, who are we? We are DBHS class of 2021. So on one, let's all say Buck Pride. Three, two, one, Buck Pride! Congratulations in class of 2021. As of this moment, we will be writing our legacy. <laughs>
that helped me through this four-year amazing journey. I know they are proud of me, their first child to graduate from high school and go to college. I wouldn't be where I am without you today. I love you both. This is just the beginning. Our future lies before us and it is limitless. If we can get through a pandemic, we can accomplish anything. We have a strong foundation built on our shared experience, friendship, education, and buck pride. We did it. Thank you. Thank you, Jacori. And those were three amazing speeches by our students. At this time, our District 7 school board member and past chair, Ms. Ro Nora Rupert, is a former high school reading teacher and a mom of three, all of whom attended public school and a tireless community and children's ad ad advocate. Ms. Rupert apologizes that she cannot be here in person, but she has sent a video in honor of our students. Now, a comment from Ms. Rupert. Hi, this is Nora Rupert, your District 7 school board member. Congratulations to our 2021 graduates, their families, and our teachers and staff. Students, I am so incredibly proud of each one of you to have accomplished this momentous achievement. I know it was not easy. The past three years since MSD and continuing into the pandemic has been a time of fear of the unknown, but also the opportunity to grow as individuals. Quarantining became the impetus for studying hubs, providing food for our neighbors, drive up grocery or restaurant meals, and let us not forget swag masks. Class of 2021, you overcame obstacles that were blocking your way. You pushed past, honed your resilience, and proved that you are ready for the next challenge that life throws you. Be confident, be hopeful, be yourself, and bring back your new skills to Broward County. And may I hope that some of you become teachers ready to train the next generation of innovative students to lead us into a bright future. Bask in today, you earned it. Your newfound strength will bring you far and we are proud of you and cannot wait to see what you will accomplish. Congratulations, class of 2021. Mwah. I would now like to invite Ms. Donna Korn to say a few words to our graduates. Ms. Korn is your countywide board member representing all of Broward County Public Schools. Ms. Korn has served as a guardian at Linham and Broward member of Handy, which supports Broward County's foster care children. She has passionately dedicated her life to advocating for children through her involvement in organizations such as Children's Services, Board of Broward County, Voices of Children of Broward, and the United Way. She has privileged to participate in honor flight to serve and honor veterans during a trip to Washington, D.C. Ms. Korn is a graduate and former English teacher at Western High School and therefore earning her bachelor's degree from Emory University. Ms. Korn's greatest accomplishment is being a mother of three amazing children who have proudly attended our Broward County Public Schools. Ms. Korn. Thank you so much, Mr. Marlowe. I am so honored to be here this morning to celebrate what is, for many of you, the biggest achievement of your life so far. I have to begin by thanking the parents, friends, coaches, pastors, and mentors that guided many of you to this momentous occasion. And certainly, we must pause to thank our teachers, administrators, and support staff for all of their hard work as they took you down this path to walk across this stage this morning. I'd like to impart a few words of wisdom, which I hope strike a chord as you truly are the foundations of our future. So, as you walk towards the next steps in your life, do it with purpose, enthusiasm, and drive. Keep in mind that as you ponder these steps, consider that it isn't always what you do, but how you do it. When you win, win with humility. When you lose, lose with appreciation for the opponent's ability and effort 
yet with conviction that next time you will rise above and be victorious. When you stumble, don't meekly and quickly get up and hope that no one saw you fall, but rather stand up, look back, and look at what made you falter so that you can overcome the hurdle to be greater than you've ever been before. When you are sad, find peace in the ones around you and look for solace in bringing even some small joy to another as your happiness will grow in giving to others. When you look to be trusted, first trust yourself as others will follow your lead. When you celebrate your achievements, take time to appreciate your own efforts. As Nelson Mandela once said, it always seems impossible until it's done. Before I step aside, I wanna take a moment to recognize those graduates who are going on to protect our freedoms by serving in the armed forces. Please stand to be recognized and remain standing for a moment, please. I would also like to take this opportunity for all those who have served or are currently serving in one of the branches of our military to please stand in our audience and be recognized along with our graduates. Thank you for your service and congratulations to the class of 2021. Thank you, Ms. Korn. And now for the most important part of the program. Ms. Korn, on behalf of the faculty and in my official capacity as principal of Deerfield Beach High School, I hereby certify that these students have successfully completed the requirements set forth by the Broward School Board and the state of Florida. Thank you again, Mr. Marlowe. On behalf of the School Board of Broward County, Florida, I certify that these students have met all of the requirements of the school board and the state of Florida for graduation from high school. Thank you. Ms. Williamson, please call the graduates to the stage. Once again, I would like to ask the audience to refrain from celebrating until after all the graduates have been called. Please give everyone the opportunity to hear the names of all the graduates. Mita Golem, Malav Patel, Jacorian Farley, Mishanda Augustine, Kaylee Torres. Shade Beeks, Arion Holt, Amaria Reed, Kashmala Swati, K. 
Kiana Adams. Marani Adelaido, Steve Adelfonce, Sarah Adolf, Avanti Aguilar. Nicole Aguilar. Justin Alcala. Luigi Alcine. Nelsito Alexandre. Chris. Chris Love Alexis. Tanaya Alexis. Tamara Alexis. Edwin Alicia. Jesse Alinsi, Rivaldo Andre, Giovanna Aline, Evelyn Almeida. Brodesha Alston. Jonathan Altador. Woodley Altador. Tori Adam. Ajna Anajuela Aditi Anajuela yeah. Francesca, a uh, nice to see you. Ryan Anderson. Belicia Andre Samuel Anglin Tyler Antoine Ellie Shama Charles Daniel Conkey. Hey, congratulations. Very good. Come over there. That way, that way. <laughs> Louise Garcia. William Jean Pierre. Jesus Antunes. Adeline Apollon. Tamira Archer. Gregory Augustov. Kenya August. Angel Ayala Paula.
Trinity Baker. Zariah Barksdale. Emilio Barantes. Xavier Belcale. Christian Bello Vilkis. Shantae Benjamin. Doriana Bennett. Abiana Bertil. Brian Bidon. Randall Bienemy. Lucia Bienestone. Shannon Blankenship. Kayla Mae Blount. Ali Allen. Stephanie Bonilla. Rosanna Boyd. Ana Maria Brenzina. Vernal Broom. Amanda Brown. Giovanni Brown. Jack Brown. Isaiah Bunn. Brian Bello. Emily Burke. Travonda Butler. Travis Bird. Yvette Cabrera. Rebecca Cadestein. John Cadet. Alejandro Calderon. Wendy Calle. Erland Cambrone. Andre Campos. Matias Canavesi. Leslie Carachure. Diego Cardenas. Lauren Carter. Montserrat Castro. Mackinson Siant. Amarda Sessi. Valerie Caesar. Chad Chambers, Nigel Chancy, Jason Chang, Aaron Chen, Ezekiel Cherry. Sylvia Chowdhury. Morgan Christie.
Mariah Clark, Katie Cleave, Joseph Kleckler, Dimono Cladenor, Jordan Coleman, William Colazzo, Delilah Collier Tertahi, Elizabeth Conversi, Horatio Cook, Shannon Crawford, Eileen Cruz, Vanessa Cruz, Calvin Cody, Wilmer Cruz, Ariana Corbello, Richard Daverna, <clears throat> Nicholas Davis III, Larissa De Freitas, Bradley De Gaulle. Agatha de Oliveira Dias. Garen Decembre. Gabriela Delgado. Dante Delgado. Don Doris. Renal Desenor, Calvalin de Sosa, Padilla Dor, Omar Dominguez Ruiz, Judlin Dorsley, Lania Dorsenier, Jimson Dorsonville, Ronaldo Dorsonville, Emily Dos Santos. Gabriel dos Santos, Liangi Ducatel, Farah Dumas, Carissa Dyke, Gabriel Edward. Donovan Edgecombe, Richard Edwards, Frederick Ever, Ethan Ive. Kiara Ellison, 
Tyrone Irvin. DeAsia Eskrent. Carlos Espinosa. Joanne Etienne. Jocelyn Evans. Kensky Belisnor. Sophia Fernandez. Stephen Ferial. Luisa Figueiredo. Tiona Finklin. <laughs> Zachary Fisher. Igor Fusa. Robert Floyd. Ariel Ford. Ginger Fortune. Narshanali Frederick. Alexis Frudenthal. Robin Fuller. Christian Fussner. Walenska Gabriel. Lathan Gadson. Yesenia Guyton. Jennifer Galarza. Sofia Gallegos. Michael Galvis. Sebastian Galvis. Amber Gamage. Gael Garcia. Jacoria Garrett. Fred Giffard. Cody Jalski, Siberia Jero, Christian Gigante, Whitney Claude, Elijah Glenn. Ava Dawn Goldson, Alicia Gomez, Alexis Gomez, Anali Gomez, Valentina Gomez. Angel Gonzalez, Jeremiah Gonzalez, Marcus Gonzalez, Rosady Gonzalez, Charlene Gonzalez. Caleb Graham, Christina Grant, Gethsemane Henry Bruce, Schneider Henry, A 
Ashley Enriquez. Willie Henley. Blake Hendrickson. Charney Hurd. Tatiana Harris. Marcel Harley. Loman Harden. Valerie Hands. Joseph Hands. Justin Hamilton. Jarius Hall, Grace Hale, Maverick Hagigat Schiller, Brianna Goulet, Lucas Guerra. Winslet Griffin, Kenneth Greaterall, Jalen Green, Jermaine James, Axel Jimenez. Eves Hoaking, Jermaine Jefferson, Jennifer Gentine, Gatiana Jack Saint, Walden's Jean. Alicia Hill, Rudeline Jean Pierre, John Dino Terency, Camila Ivy. Abigail Humes, Destiny Holton, Schneidin Jean, Garrison Jean Baptiste. Wendley Joseph, Curvens Jalmon, Nakaya Jackson, Markenia Jean Baptiste, Tyler Jackson. Jamira Johnson, Tavares Johnson, Donovan Joinville, Shania Jones, Avriel Joseph. Jorayli Joseph, Nadia Joseph, Janinia Joseph, Jesus Julian Cielo.
Skyler Cadre. Devonch Kana. Ayushi Kini. Annalise Kistner. Karen Kitchens. Jada Knight. Brian Kuhn, Isabel Lambert, Emma LaPlante, Gianna Lazo, Kayla LeBlanc, Louise Lentz Garcia, Arlen Yenez Viallo. Caitlin Longo. Madeline Longo. Priscilla Lopez Cuyan. Elizabeth Lopez. Catherine Lopez. Gisela Loredo. Georgina Lopez. John Lorimer. Gilbert Lewis. Roshoski Lewis. Woodlinski Lewis, Jamal Lowe, Allison Leasing, Shadia Malik, Ordell Marag, Caleb Mackey. Emanuela Marcelin. Florentine Marmamousis. Franklin Marmamousis. Kiana Mathis. Victoria Matthews. Deborah Maurice. Destiny Mc McKinley. Katie Jimenez. Ethan Ortiz. Michael McLaughlin. Carwan McLemore, Lauren Meckley, Kesey Medrod, Brianna Mikal, Gloria Mendez. Yadira Mendez Gonzalez. Juan Mendoza Lopez. Agulash Mete. Job Medalis. Clarence Matils. Kensley Michelle, 
Julita Miranda Phillips. Mark Richard Octama. Jessica Norellis. Christopher Mora. Emily Munoz. Priscilla Monroy Ruiz. Gustavo Pinheiro. Brianna Mondesir. Tyra Noel. Lukni Morency. Johnny Mitchell. Victor Oliveira. All Noel. Kumar Najim. Imani Murphy. Tatiana Olizma. Alexis Miranda. Alicia Nordellis. Krista Nicholas. Paula Navarro Ocampo. Ruth Noel. Priscilla Oscar. Norlands Pierre. Katie Ortega. Thadric Parker. Enhiki Pedra. Ladarius Oliver. Brian Pando. Anthony Para. Juan Osorio. Rachel Pierre Save. Jennifer Ortega. John Paul. Enrique Olivo. Christian o Oviedo. Adonis Perez. Marquise Pierre. Raphne Paul. Sarah Otto. Amiric Oz. Jonathan Catant. Mystery Preston. Aliyah Reed. Lizbeth. Lizbeth Rio Sanchez. Cassandra Renteria Puerto. Gael Pimentel. Anaya Randall. Maria Pina Leon. 
Dianelis Ramos. Camilla Robinson. Deslin Rivero. Bailey Roach. Dreamsley Prosper. Charisma Rodriguez. Rodrigo Ramirez Castro. Michelle Renteria. Alexis Randall. India Robert. Isaac Rodriguez. Carvins Romaine. Ariana Roman. Jessica Romero Oliveira. Saika Savanet. Kelly Rosales. Natalia Saravia. Joanna Rubio. Esteban Ruiz. Landy Solomon. Yari Sanchez. Schneider Sanum. Henry Santos. Emily Santiago. Yahir Rosales. Alyssa Shaketti. Alana Scott. Kenneth Scott. Bedent Shingari. Danesha Simon. Giovanelli Simon. Gino Simonville. Zachary Simpson. Chloe Skiba. Dion Small. Anthoin Smith. Destiny Smith. Dominic Smith. Sarai Salon. Derby St. Prue. Marika Stagger. Nyla Staple. Edvard St. Juice. Ty Storer. Aisha Strawbridge. Bianca Sully. Micah Swan. Jeff Tamaris Morales. Diamante Taylor. Roberta Teleport. Vashti Thomas. 
Chastin Tompkins. Tania Thompson. Shalinda Thelisma. Danielle Tinajero. Talia Tony. Danny Torres. Zuli Torres. Joanne Toussaint. Joshua Toussaint. James Treber. Alexandria Ulysse. Damien Uruena. Christopher Vallejo. Susha Valiani. Noah Ben Skoyek. Allison Vieda. Alexandria Walker. Jatea Washington. Jean Vincent. Jack Watson. Michael Whitmer. Jordan Wilson. Anastasia Wimberly. Shakira Worsley. Dion York. Zakorian Farley.
everybody can come up and then Jacori and you're gonna the wording is As a symbolic gesture to mark this academic milestone, we will now participate in the turning of our tassels. Fellow graduates, will you please stand? Now, please turn your tassels from the right side to the left side. Congratulations, class of 2021. At this time, will the entire audience please stand for the singing of the Alla Mater, led by Kaylee Torres. The Alla Mater is printed in your program and will be displayed on the screens. We ask the rem audience remain at their seats until all grads have left the stand. You will be able to join your grads outside in a few minutes. Thank you for celebrating with us this morning. We are grateful to our hosts at Drive Pink Stadium for allowing us to use their beautiful venue. In order to accommodate the next graduation on schedule, it is important for us to leave promptly. Thank you for attending today's graduation. Congrats, class of 2021.
Oh, I think it's... Par parents, please, you need to exit out of gate one and meet your graduate outside of gate one as the graduates will be exiting out on the east side and making their way to reach you. So please exit out of gate one so you can meet your graduate. Thank you and congratulations.